Hey guys, Chris Meets with Icon Ecom here. Today we're going to take a look at manual personalization. So you now have the ability for any order that is placed on hold for personalization to be able to either change the product to a different product and design or to just upload new artwork. So here's a few products that I've created to demo this functionality for you guys. So this first one here is a non-personalized product. And you'll see that we still have the button here to edit personalization options. Inside of here, the only functionality you have is if you want this order to be flagged as a manual order. So what this will do is any order that is placed for this item will automatically flag that item and put it on hold like it would for a regular personalized order. To set that, you just want to set this manual hold to yes and hit save. And you'll see on my other products that I have here, these are personalized products. And what I've done is set the auto fulfillment to no. So this will cause all, any order for any of these products to be put on hold. In this case, you can see that this is a monogrammed letter design. So our regular personalization would not work for a design such as this. So if I come over to my orders section here, I've already got a couple orders in the system uh, that have some personalization changes that are needed. So you'll see now on any order that is placed on hold, you know, now have the functionality to upload either new front or back artwork. If the, if the product is designed with front and back, that'll be an option there for you. And you can also change product. So first we'll go over this upload new front artwork. Um, so if I come in here, you can see it kind of gives me the mock-up builder again. I can go to upload artwork image. And in this case, the customer entered Mallory for their name. So I can select that design here that I already have built and position that on my product as I would like it to appear. Hit save and finish. And what this is going to do is swap out the artwork and mock-up for whatever image I just uploaded. Um, once that's done, you can just release the hold and this product will be good to go. Here's another example here where the customer entered Tim for personalization. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is actually change out my product. So I've already got uh, some monogram designs created in here. So in this case, if you wanted to go through and create all of your monogram products with the different letters, and then use our personalization to be able to fill in the name in the middle, you could certainly do that. Uh, so you can come up here and just search for your monogram designs. In this case, it's gonna be a T since the customer entered Tim. And then now I can go into edit personalization, put Tim in for the name and select generate new image. As you can see now that image is generated and this order is ready for production. So I can release the hold on this order as well and it'll be ready to go. This should give you guys a lot more flexibility in what you can offer to your customers in the way of customizations. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to send us an email to support at iconecom.com.